To update the firmware on ClickStick manually, we'll start by going to the clickbox.com website to get the firmware. Go to Downloads, click Firmware, and select the ClickStick from the menu, and now click on the download link. Um, the firmware will download to your downloads folder. And so once it's downloaded, go ahead and uh, copy it onto a USB thumb drive, which we're going to use to update the click stick. Just simply copy it over onto the thumb drive. And once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, and connect directly to the click. So go to your Wi-Fi and find the click by name. So you'll have the click stick name. Uh, go ahead and select it. And uh, now while it's making a connection, you can jump over back to your browser and we'll be opening up a, uh, an IP address that's uh, shown up on the click stick. It's 192.168.59.254. Once you hit the click control center, go ahead and enter your password. By default, it's admin, all lowercase. Uh, sign in and then go to the menu and select the configuration tab. This is the configuration control. So now what we'll do is plug the thumb drive into the ClickStick cable. Once that's connected, uh, the click will sense it and so you'll see it up on the screen, it's USB. So hit the back button to exit that menu. And um, once you're back to the uh, welcome screen, go ahead and click on the settings icon and you'll see that the, uh, the click screen changes into the setup mode. So go ahead and scroll over one step to the system tab uh, hit the center check mark to select it. Now uh, scroll up to uh, places, click on the uh, USB upgrade uh, to select that. As soon as the um, click stick has found the uh, flash drive, you'll see that it has the new version of firmware. So go ahead and hit the check mark to select that. You'll get a message saying, please wait for USB upgrade. That will change to the progress bar. Uh, this may take a couple of minutes. Just uh, be patient as it goes through the uh, update process, applies the updated firmware, and then the click will restart. So you'll get the startup animation, and um, then you'll see uh, immediately thereafter the new desktop uh, and the fact that the new firmware is installed. You can see at the bottom it says firmware version 1306. If the thumb drive is still installed, go ahead and pull it or click on the back uh, icon to uh, clear that screen. Now while we're at it, uh, why don't we just go back to uh, the Click website um, to get the Click Wizard so you can finish the uh, installation and setup. So simply go to support, Click Wizard, and um, then select your version, uh, whether you're on Windows or Mac. In this case, it's a Windows installation, so it'll download the app. As soon as it's uh, downloaded, go ahead and click on it, and it will run. Um, the wizard setup is the easiest way to get your click set up. So go ahead and select the click stick that you see. Uh, press next. Now you're pr uh, prompted for the password for the Wi-Fi that you're connected to. Go ahead and enter that. Hit next. Here you can change the wallpaper. You could use a standard wallpaper like we're selecting here or you could upload your own image. Hit next. Uh, assign a name to the, to the click stick. Uh, whatever you like. You've got up to 15 uh, characters. Uh, assign a password. Remember by default it was admin lowercase. You can change that. Uh, click on next to move forward. Uh, you uh, don't necessarily need to make any additional changes. Review your settings. If everything looks good, hit next. Now the click stick will be updated. Uh, this could take uh, anywhere from one or two minutes to several minutes and it's dependent uh, also on your proximity to the click stick. So when you're doing this setup, uh, try and be nice and close to it with your laptop. Okay, so once it's uh, completed all 12 steps, the uh, wallpaper changes. You're prompted now to download, if you like, the uh, Click Connect app. Uh, we're just gonna close out of here. Uh, so that's it.